OK, in the last video we got to the point where we had installed our theme. So uh, let's carry on from here. We're going to start putting the, uh, the meat on the bones, let's say. So I'm just going to WP Admin. If I can type. Let's go back to the back end of this. Now, a couple of things I'm going to show you now, um, which I do every time I'm, I'm designing a site putting a side up and it might uh, it might give you some some good ideas it might give you an idea of the best way of doing it for you the first thing I do is I have a word document which I've got my text on because writing copy for your landing page is one of the most important things you know you want to get something which is going to be sharp to the point says exactly what you do how you do it um, what you're offering so you want a killer headline you want some good supportive text so what I've done, I've already written out uh, my sales page, my landing page, uh, or my squeeze page, whichever, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is the one that I've done for, specifically for, the WordPress landing page theme, because I'm selling what I'm showing, or I'm giving away, rather, what I'm showing. So this is what I wrote for the landing page, and I've, and I've done it in the text style that I wanted to use I wanted to end up with as well. So what we've got here is we've got uh, uh, a top header which is just saying, hey, read this. Uh, we've got what we call a killer headline which actually just tells you exactly what I'm doing um, with a little sub headline here. Then it goes into the supporting text and this took me a while to write to get it as uh, concise as I possibly could. Um, it's important that we do this concise way and what I might do because this is the original text I did with 27 minute video if I use these section of video videos which is going to be probably more than 27 minutes I'm going to go through everything step by step um, I might I'm going to be changing this so you're probably you're seeing a morphing of the old landing page that people have been using for uh, quite a few months now we've got as I say we've got thousands of downloads it's just that we have to upgrade our video, which we're doing now, so it shows version 3. And it's a great way for you to see how we're going to convert as well. So you're getting, you're getting a real good insight into the way we work. So at the moment, it actually says 27 minute video. We might say here something like um, 5 video tutorial, uh, because it might turn into 5 videos. It might uh, give you so much information that it's going to be quite radical. So. But this is the bones of it, and we can change it as we go. Um, and this is all the things that we're gonna um, we're gonna cover. So, uh, uploading the theme, static pages, creating landing pages, and additional pages, permalinks, all that sort of thing. So we're going to show you how to do all these things. Um, with this WordPress landing page theme, you can create a perfect landing page every single time, which is absolutely true, and it is worth between seventy and two hundred dollars. We've seen these go out. I've actually, I've actually uh, built these for more than 200 bucks. These sort of things because it's quite a bit of work and it's uh, it's, a, it's a skill, you know, which I'm passing on to you anyway. So that's our text. Uh, it's in the right format. We're not going to actually use the format in this, but it's just so we know that it looks how we want it to look. The other thing that I I use uh, a lot is something which is very very simple, but um, I get ready prior to actually putting the uh, the page together, and that's the video I'm going to use, the data capture form I'm going to use. Um, I've got the, the the yellow highlighted text here for you as well. This is all in a cheat sheet as well, by the way, uh, which you can download. And I've got a PayPal button, uh, which I'm going to just show you how to do. I'm not going to put a PayPal button on my landing page because I'm not selling anything but you might want to sell something so you'll have a PayPal button that you want to use and I'm going to show you quickly how to how to put that into the site so let's have a look at uh, where we are at the moment and what we want to do is we want to first thing we want to do is we want to get a static page up this software is blogging software and the way it is at the moment if we just go to the front page which is what people will go to they'll get this hello world and the hello world as you probably know if you've ever used WordPress before is the the default post that um, uh, WordPress use uh, you change this as you start using your blog 
but we don't want it to be a blog post software. We want this to be, um, in, a, in essence, a website. We want it to be a website. Even though we're using it as a landing page theme, we're going we're gonna to do the same sort of thing as we would do if, if we were turning this into a website. So, first thing we need to do is we need to go to, we've got pages and we've actually got a new page and we need to change this to what we call a static page. Now, static page just means that you control what page people see when they first come into your site. Okay, so when they put the www.yourdomain.com into their browser, you're dictating which page they see. So the way we do this, we go down to the settings section again and we go to reading. Now in here, it's got front page displays. At the moment, it's got your latest posts, which means that it's a blogging software platform. Now we're going to change it into a uh, website platform. Simply by doing this, we click on a static page, and then we select what static page we're going to display first off. And we've already created this one, which is AIM Training UK, so we're going to click on that, and we're just going to hit Save Changes. Now what's happened? is that it's going to show the page that we've decided that we want to show people when they first come into our site and this is where your landing page is going to sit so if I just click on here you can see this is the uh, uh, top line URL and we have our home page it says this is our home page so now we put our static page on our home page and we can start putting the, uh, all the product in there now. We can put the, the text in there now. We can put the uh, video in there. We can put the Aweber uh, things there. I use Aweber. You don't have to. Um, I just use Aweber because I use Aweber. Uh, you can also use things like Constant Contact and uh, Infusionsoft you can use. You can use uh, Eye Contact, any of those things. Whichever your your product that you use, you can use in here and we're going to show you how. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use um, the JavaScript, just put the JavaScript from Aweber into it, but this is just the coding for whatever data capture software you use. It doesn't matter, it's all the same, it goes in the same place. Okay, so let's start looking at what we're going to do with this. So if I go to forward slash WP. admin so we go into our back end okay so first thing we will want to do is we want to go to the pages and open up the page that we're going to use as our front end and here we're going to put our text now I'm going to do it on the HTML you've got HTML and visual now we we're going to put it in HTML because I don't want any formatting in there because we're going to actually format this so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy all this text. In fact, I won't copy that last little bit because I'm going to put that into the uh, Aweber box that we're going to create. So I've copied that and we're going to put all this text into here. Now you can see that uh, we've got these high, um, indentations and we don't want those. But uh, so we can have a look at the visual this is a WYSIWYG side of it and as you can see it's not too pretty it's a bit cramped and uh, that sort of thing um, but I'm going to just save these changes and I'm going to view it and you can see that it's now just full of text which is great um, we need to format this and put this into some sort of semblance of order. We're going to put the video in and things like that. So we're going to do that in the, in the next video. Um, the next video we're going to format the text and at least put the video in. Uh, so we'll see you on the next video.